Hey guys, I figured I'd uh, throw out a couple suggestions. Um, this is just a basic meetup tomorrow. I'm going to give you some ideas of where to go up there in McAdoo. I'm certainly not a professional. I am not uh, somebody who's been there more than, say, 10, 15 times over the past few years. My idea was that I had a lot of requests from people to go and, uh, you know, come along with me and, and maybe get some tips. And that's about the best I can do. I, I'm certainly not responsible for your safety. I'm not responsible for if you do find something or you don't. Um, but I will do my best to offer my input and my knowledge. Um, I have not um, been doing this forever. Uh, so you people may be able to teach me a few things as well. But I, I definitely suggest you bring your basic necessities for yourself and uh, one of those being eye protection if you're going to be hammering on rocks uh, you know there's a couple of people who may have kids um, you know sunglasses just anything to protect your eyes and your hands my hands got torn up pretty good the last uh, two times I was there so uh, foot protection is important Balance, you know, any slip on these rocks if you're going to be walking on them. You know, you need to be uh, understanding that you have to be overseeing your kids if you're bringing kids. Uh, I think right now we only have a group of probably about seven or eight, maybe nine people. Um, I'm actually bringing my granddaughter. Uh, she's been with me before. She's thrilled at doing stuff like this. Crystals mean a lot to... A lot of different people for a lot of different reasons. The thrill of the hunt. Uh, some people believe in the, uh, the uh, what is it, the chakra, um, uh, which basically the healing properties of crystals and the cleansing of crystals around your body, that kind of thing. No matter what you want to do or what your intentions are, this, for me, is a fun hunt, and um, I always like to share the wealth. I've coached baseball for 18 years. Um, I like teaching kids. I like teaching anybody that wants to know, but at the same time, I'm there to learn myself. This adventure here does not require ropes. However, I'm going to show you a couple places in the area where we're going to be where you will see ropes. You may see people using ropes. Um, Best advice is to stay off the edges of the area that they call echo. You walk too close, you go down, you're done. And that's no joke, okay? So uh, we're going to be walking on property that is not posted. So it doesn't say no trespassing or anything along that line. And, and somebody could come up to us and say, hey, you shouldn't be there. That's not my responsibility, not my knowledge. I've been going there. Um, so this is almost like a disclaimer that I'm putting out there. But at the same time, it's informational uh, for you knowing what to bring, what to do. I've got a couple of videos out there that uh, show you the, the host rocks and tools to bring. But I'll say it again, uh, bring and wear safety gear as far as your shoes, you know, gloves, um, the tools you bring. You could use a sledgehammer, um, you know, something to scrape crystals off the rock without damaging them. If you find somebody on, on the, some on the outside of the rocks. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to close up this video. It's just more informative. Uh, bring what you need to eat or drink. Make sure you're warm enough. It's going to be at 9 o'clock, probably be there till about noon, 1 o'clock, maybe a little bit longer, depending on how well it goes. Again, it's all about safety, um, a little bit about uh, the knowledge you have, the knowledge you can gain, and I hope knowledge I can gain at the same time. It is a huge, huge area. I'm going to show you a couple of areas that I've gone to. But there's no way I've covered one twentieth of the area that you can go to. 
Okay, so be prepared, and uh, thanks a lot.